disciplines, dental and medical. How can we help them play fair, play nice and do what's best for their mutual patient? And I spoke up at this meeting and it seemed like it was well received. But in my opinion, uh, from the perspective of reaching out to patients in your community through paid marketing strategies, that is the number one way that you are going to shift the minds of the medical community. And that is through patient awareness. When the patient goes and they see their primary care and the primary care brings up that, hey, like I believe you have some, some, some indicators of obstructive sleep apnea. Um, you know, we're going to do a sleep test and I want to put you on CPAP if it comes back that you do have obstructive sleep apnea. That patient needs to have the ability to go to come to that doctor and say, actually, I, like, I know you're saying CPAP, but I saw this other option and they call it oral appliance therapy. And apparently it moves the mandible forward and it opens up the airway. Is that an option for me? That's how you get the medical community to start considering and giving dental sleep medicine the attention it deserves is by the patient's telling their doctors what they want. And the only way to do that is if you're able to educate and get your message and get your treatment in front of your community.